This week has marked the Deakin University Students Association's buy-in to the university's attempt to increase the cost of parking for students and staff of the university. Events spanned over a two-day protest with DUSA members and students taking part to protest against the price rise. I live in Torquay and it actually takes about 3.5 hours to get here. If the implementation of the parking rise goes ahead, students and staff can be expected to pay the costs as early as semester one next year with an increase of 50% for daily tickets. One, two, three, four! Producer Events and Activities Coordinator Kate Dennis is one of the many advocates behind the student protests. It went pretty well. We actually, it actually turned into more of a bit of a soapbox where students were able to get up and have their say and have a rant about their feelings about what's happened with this car parking. A lot of it was shaped around environmental issues um, as well as access and money and um, how, uh, student budgets. In speaking to other students, it is easy to see their concern over the potential rising cost of parking. It's ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Third year art student Bethany Tyler believes the expectation of students to fork out money for the price hike could discourage students from attending at all. I think it's just going to work, uh, I don't think it's going to work in their favour at all. It's going to uh, discourage students from attending classes because it's going to be hard to afford to actually get here. Uh, considering the prices we pay for books, fees, and now 50% increase in daily parking prices. It's, I just don't think kids are going to want to come to class now because they simply can't afford it. The university's vice-chancellor, Jane Den Hollander, sent out emails to both staff and students regarding the parking arrangements and has recognised the strong criticism this move has caused. Uh, receiving the DC's email um, informing us all that this was for uh, climate change and, you know, it was a, had the green agenda and a good push and it was all positive, well, I found that to be utter rubbish and thought that perhaps if there was actually a green agenda in this that we'd be seeing that on campus, they would be building to green ethical standards. Developments are going on at the moment clearly don't meet those standards. Um, it's just very transparent. I think she's just shamelessly profiteering and looking for any old excuse. At this stage, the university aren't budging, so we're going to obviously combine that with more um, negotiations, but we'll have to see what happens from there. There is um, talk of doing something on the um, on the open days, but as this far, Juicer hasn't actually planned anything, but we're going to see how it goes and get as much student access, um, input into that as possible. But no doubt, if the Deakin administration does go ahead with the rise to the cost of parking to students and staff, they will be met with not only fierce criticism from the Deakin University Student Association, but from the wider community itself.